And now a page from our Sunday Morning Almanac, July 16th, 1999, 18 years ago today. Once again, the Kennedy family is steeling itself tonight to deal with tragedy. The day John F. Kennedy Jr., his wife and sister-in-law, died in the crash of a small plane he was piloting. The only son of our assassinated 35th president, John Kennedy Jr., John John, grew up before the eyes of the world, the crown prince of Camelark. Ladies and gentlemen, meet George. In 1995, he launched a political magazine named for our first president. And there was endless speculation that he might someday run for office himself. Dubbed the sexiest man alive by People magazine. I heard JFK Jr. is coming. Young Kennedy was a tabloid darling, and his 1996 marriage to Carolyn Bissett was the social event of the season. An amateur pilot, JFK Jr. took off in a Piper Saratoga on the night of July 16th with his wife Carolyn and sister-in-law Lauren Bissett, bound for Martha's Vineyard. The plane was last picked up on radar at 9.39 Friday night, some 17 miles from Martha's Vineyard consistent with an imminent final approach to the Vineyard Haven Airport. But the plane then disappeared from radar. No emergency declaration was ever made. Five days later, searchers found the wreckage of the plane and the remains of its three passengers on the ocean bottom, about eight miles off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. Their bodies were cremated, their ashes scattered at sea. A private mass was held for Kennedy and his wife in New York City with President and Mrs. Clinton among the invited guests. Had he lived, the dashing young JFK Jr., so many of us remember, would now be just 56 years old.